Here we are in our QuickBooks Online test company file using the accountant view as opposed to the business view. You can toggle between the two views by going to the cog up top and switching the view down below. Duplicating some tabs to put reports in like we do every time. Right click in the tab up top to duplicate it. Right click in the duplicated tab to duplicate it again. Back to the tab to the middle as the one to the right is thinking reports on the left hand side. We want to open up one of the favorites that being the balance sheet report of course. Let's tab to the right and then go to the reports again on the left and close and let's open the profit and loss, the PNDL. Closing the hamburger, changing the range from, I'm going to start off from 010123 to 123123, run it, and then I'm going to tab to the left and close up the hamburger and change the range to the same 010123 to 123123 and run that. Now in prior presentations, I'm gonna to go to the tab to the left. We've been working on the mileage tracking feature within uh, QuickBooks and we've been entering data. We enter data for one month of basically miles and we talked about how we might use this data to do an adjusting entry so we can track our information for tax preparation using a mileage method and even enter an adjusting entry possibly into our QuickBooks system so we have a nice little reconciliation right there. So now I'm going to do the same kind of thing for the second month and see how we can basically sort our report that is here when we download the trips if we wanted to sort the reports in a bit more complicated situation where we had possibly multiple months and we want to break it out by month and then we have personal data as well as business data possibly tracking information not just for the miles here but possibly for a charitable deduction that might be helpful for taxes or for medical type of expenses that might be possible uh, for taxes as well so the main reports that we have is they give you this little summary page up top but the other reports isn't in the reports area it's just going to be this export to a csv file which you can then convert to an excel file if you have a more complex type of report that you're going to be dealing with and so we'll play with that for a while now if i go to the tab to the to the right last time we imagined that we stopped and we entered an adjusting entry at the end of may so let's make this the cutoff then as of 053123 and let's adjust it here we turned on the classes to do that and run this and then we had this nice little breakout using our classes so that we can have our totals not really messed up but then have an adjusting entry to adjust for the fact that we're not using the actual method but the mileage method for our column here that's basically on a tax method and this is kind of like our adjusting uh, entry uh, column over here all right now let's imagine we do some data input for the next month in june so we have some data that we can export so let's say we're adding our trips, which we can do with the mobile app. So as you have the mobile app, if it's just tracking your miles as it's pulling into the information down here, it might be unreviewed or you might have automatically categorized it between uh, the business personal and so on that pulls in, or you can use the manual tracking up top, we'll enter in manual here. So I'm gonna go up top and I'm gonna say add a trip. And then I'm gonna say this is happening in June now. So we're in June. And let's enter a couple of these, some of the standard ones. We have the office to our client. So we go from office to client number one. And so there we have it. And we have our round trip. We'll keep it at the normal uh, Toyota default. And we're going to say that it's going to be a meeting that we're going to once again. So we'll say save that. And there's the calculation. Notice the calculations here are summing up for the entire year, which is perfect for you know taxes but you might want more detail month by month if you're doing you know your information on a month by month breakout and you might want more detail on your personal side of things which could include the the medical and uh and uh say charitable i'm going to add this to the business side of things i'm going to add a meeting let's do another one let's say we have another one that happened once again in the following month let's say the second and let's say this one is going to be from our office once again, this time to, to client uh, two. I'm going to put on the round trip and we're going to say it's for a meeting once again. Boom. So we've got that one. I'm going to pull this one over to the to the business side of things. 
And so there it is. And so, well, I need a reason, a meeting. So now we've got this populating uh, kind of automatically. So then up top, let's imagine we have some other kinds of trips. So I'm going to say now that I want to put in my favorite locations and let's do another one. Another favorite location here is happens to be the 944. Well, let's do so I'm putting in the 1013 North Roxbury Drive and I'm going to say this is going to be for charity. Let's say this is some kind of charity that I'm going to. So I'm going to say that's going to be a charitable kind of item. Let's save that. It wouldn't let me save it because it wasn't coming from Google Maps. So I basically refreshed the screen. So it was giving me this nice drop down. And then I'm going to say it's charity one, let's say. So I'm going to say, all right, let's do that. And then maybe if I was using my mileage tracking app, I might make a rule for it. So I might manage rules down here and say, we're going to say this is a mileage rule. And the starting point is going to be my office. And then we're going to go to uh, charity one. And this is going to be on the personal side. And we'll say Toyota, that's good. Apply to past trips. No, I'm just going to say boom. And so hopefully that will pull over automatically when I make trips, say with my mobile app uh, to the personal side of things. So I'm going to keep that. And then if I add a trip and let's say this happened sometime in June, let's say 5th. And I'm going to say that this is going to be so notice when I manually input it here, I still have to put in the, po the, the points. So I'm going to say it's from my office to the uh, charity one. But if I was using my app and driving around, that's when it might automatically pull into this information here and possibly automatically assign it to the purpose, which I said uh, was personal. Now I'd like to put it over to personal and then give it another designation of charity or medical type of, of transactions, right? So I could say it's a, a charity transaction round trip and then save it. And so once again, it didn't put the other side of the round trip in here, but I'm gonna save that on over to personal uh, as well. So on the personal side, we have those in here. So we've got these items on the personal side. Okay. And then let's do another one. I'm going to add a trip and we're going to say this one is going to be sometime in June and we'll say the 13th. And we went from our office to the endpoint of the uh, charity one again. And let's say that this was personal and I'm going to say it was charity round trip boom and then let's add a medical one as well so let's say i'm going to add another one let's make a rule a mileage rule and i'm going to say another rule this one is going to be the starting point of my office and we're going to go this time to see if this drop down thing works this time this is 2002 loma vista loma vista 29 20 30 million dollar place here personal Toyota round trip it. So if I was using the app, it should do that automatically. I'm going to save it. And there's our another, our another item. And then I'm going to, but I'm going to add the trip manually here. Say this happened on the 15th of June. We're going to say starting point office again. Ending point is going to be, oh, hold on. I didn't, the ending point is going to be, uh, let's just type it in again. I'm going to say it's going to say 2002 